Um, what up? Solar Nasus only here back to win some more bonk action. We're playing some Nasus. He got some buffs this patch. They buffed up his size. They buffed up his abilities. And he's gonna slap. So they buffed up his Q, so they increased the range on your uh, empowered Q. They also buffed up your ult size, which will also increase the hitbox. So your Q will hit from farther range later as well. But the main thing with your ult size is you do that pulsating uh, damage around yourself, the pulsating magic damage when you press ult. And that'll scale with your hitbox as well. So we're going to try and get pretty large here. I think I'm going to grab a uh, Frozen Fist just to see how big we can get. Get Frozen Fist, and then we need a Sheen item somewhere else. By the way, we want this guy to push. I think I'll even like let him hit me with a Q here just to hit the wave harder. I don't want him to hit me with an E, though. Oh, well, he already Q'd, though, so I guess that's fine. No big deal. Walk up, auto this guy, auto Q, boom. Collect the stacks. Early game, trying to kill as many things as we can with our Q. That's our goal here. Every time we kill something with the Q, boom. Permanent stack. Permanent damage added to our Q and all future Qs. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that one, but all right. Uh, we can also use our E to get some of these early minions that we might otherwise miss. And we do have a lifesteal passive, so every time we auto attack, we're healing back up. I also opted into fleet footwork. Ah, oh, this is not gonna work out. No. Yeah, I don't get the stack off the cannon. Cannon stacks are super important. You get plus 12 as opposed to the plus three that you get on the regular minion. Same thing with a champion though. So always try and finish with Q if you can. By the way, anybody plays like this just dies to jungle. Don't play like this. He has no vision down and he's spamming out his abilities at me under tower. At the exact time that a jungler would typically gank. <laughs> Don't play like this. I mean, I know he's getting away with it right now, but it's it'll not be a good idea in the long run. It's fine to play aggressive. It's fine to like try and make plays like this. Like he keeps trying to hit E, that's fine. But once you miss it, like you kinda have to Play a little bit more passively. This is kind of what happens a lot when you play uh, on the weaker side of a matchup in the early game. Like Nas is obviously going to tend to be in these positions where you're just trying to farm up early, scale into the game, get a couple of levels, get some gold, get Sheen, get some stacks. My general goal is like 60 stacks. Cool. I mean, when he does this, he like pulls the whole wave. And again, we have a lifesteal passive, 9% lifesteal. So the wave's gonna keep shoving under tower as long as we keep baiting it like this. This is why this doesn't really do anything. The way you should really try and play this from Ward's side is right here, this wave is gonna bounce back to him. So now, what he needs to try and do is be patient and let the wave push to him when it bounces. Because then he's gonna get the wave on his side of the map, like all the way back here. He can set up a freeze and then look how different that is for me. I gotta overextend. Like, I'm getting beaten up by him, right? It's pretty obvious for all of us to see. But me getting beaten up under my tower doesn't do anything. I'm just gonna leave. Oh no. I'm only getting all of my farm. You know, minus the typical six that I miss. Or whatever it is. I'm getting so many of them. And I'm healing up the whole time. Lifesteal. There you go. Oh wow. Oh, going back to base, got his ignite. Time to go. Down six farm. Nope. Even a play here. I can stay and try and make, but I think it's fine just to leave. I want to get this this. Ooh, yeah. Perfect. I'll wait ten gold for it. It's gonna speed up my time running back to base. Stand max range. Dude, remember back in the day when the, uh, now the way the tower, the shop works is it's like right here is the line. You have to be inside the, uh, pool to buy. Back in the day, it was a circle around the shopkeeper. So top lane always got an advantage because the shopkeeper is always towards the top side. So the circle would allow you to like land, right click immediately back to lane. And as you were running, you could buy like all the way to up here. It's pretty, pretty legendary. Not too bad. So luckily for him, he got around the part of weakness where he's pre-level six and pushing a lane. That's generally a time where you can gank the Mord pretty easily, but 
did not get ganked, but who gives a shit? My jungle is running around killing everybody else. So that works for me. Making stuff happen elsewhere. I like it. Yeah, just because I say, uh, you know, his play is wrong, it doesn't mean he's getting, he's getting a, po he's getting a, doesn't necessarily mean someone's capitalizing on the mistake. Like, if you play like that more often than not, you're going to get punished a lot. You can play like that every time. You can, like, mindlessly play aggressively and not play around any of the defensive stuff that you have to, you know, worry about. Like, you can play like Eve doesn't exist or a jungler doesn't exist, but eventually they will exist and they'll, you know, mess you up for the bad play that you're playing. You know, the bad way that you're playing. You gotta play around some stuff. Some of the obvious timings are uh, pretty important to play around. Obvious timing being like, you know, right around the three minute mark, 245. Jungler, Pump Champ. I mean, I can beat his ass. Just, uh, you know, I'm not gonna flash and try and finish that play while his jungler is sitting here waiting. Will you go away? Like, oh, oh are you going to well? Okay. Bad play. For sure, get the dragon that's an infernal Drake while the jungler is sitting around top lane jerking off. It's alright. I need to get this wave fully shoved under tower, so I'm gonna try and press E's and auto attack the minions as best as I can. Uh, goal here is shove, not stacks. So try and do this without dying. But we don't know where their enemy jungler is. Sweet. Mission accomplished. Oh. I can literally press W and let my teammate kill him. He should think I'm gone and shove the wave quickly. He's half HP, so he wants to leave as well. I could E this and get both of those minions. I really just want the wave shoving them. Bastard shoves the better. Now I can actually just wait. I was gonna back, but I had 650. 650. See, now Dragon's up and it's like, not a great choice to even come top. Even though it is a great choice in terms of like health that people are at. This is a real fucking play, bro. Wow, I think, did he deny the cannon? Oh, no, he did. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Do this. I don't have enough mana to finish this, but I got his ignite out of him for my ult. I'm gonna have to stay for this, obviously. Uh, if he pushes this again, it's great. He has nothing up. By the way, we, the guy AFK shoving us under tower, it's that same situation as before. <laughs> We're not getting into any threat. Notice how different this was when his jungler was here, right? What was the situation when his jungler was here? It was the exact one that I'm talking about, right? I'm overextended. Like, I, I have to walk up to get the farm. I don't have to. I mean, if I want the farm, I have to walk up, right? Whereas here, I can just sit under my tower, play nice and safe, and get all, almost all the farm, right? But up here... His jungler's hiding in this bush, he's right here, the wave's frozen here, I can't walk up and get it. So I will die to the jungler, right? I have to play around that. That's why it's crucial to bounce the wave. You know, this isn't... I know it feels like you're doing something here, because you're like hitting me and I'm getting low, and you know, it's all... It's good, but... It's not really a, like a positive gain here, I'm just gonna press B and leave. You know? You get a CS lead or something, that's cool, I don't die. I'm getting all the XP. I'm just gonna be a little bit behind in gold, which is fine because I'll scale into the game uh, reasonably well. Right. So Sheen, and then I'm gonna go into my item that I can never seem to find. It's here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Two in top. 
The jungle is up here too. Ooh. I like that damage. Solid defense, solid defense. I mean, if you hit him with E, we can win. Okay, I don't know what that is. Does he think he's gonna win versus that guy? Oh, he does. All right, I take it all back. Do I go for two? W? That was such a good juke. What you ah? Okay. Why did everybody play so afraid? What could? I don't know. Whatever, you saved me. That was cool. I mean, I think I was out anyway. It's off of the Soraka heal, but nobody else is there. That was the mid laner. That was the guy that you're afraid. Of. You stunned him. Just W and Q and kill. I don't know. All good. Just disappointed more wasn't had there. This juke was nice. The step back, but wasn't able to finish it. I had a flash onto her after she flashed. That might have been the move. Because I ended up wasting my flash. Well, I don't know. Using my flash later on to get away. Right here. Bingo. Perfect. 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 Anything but press Q. Do anything but spam auto attack and press Q. Let the wave push to you. This is exactly what you want. You're going to get me overextended? And then you can maybe bully me. Like, this is what you want. There we go. It's way better than just shoving the wave mindlessly under tower. Now you're going to get me to spend mana. You're going to get me to do a bunch of stuff I don't want to do. I got to be nervous that the jungler could be here now. Anything but press Q right here that I'm trying to bait. Anything but press Q on me for free. Oh my goodness, man. I feel like I'm dodging it, but my hitbox is too big. I don't know. I guess I'm not. I guess I'm not dodging it. By the way, it's a super easy gank for my jungle. Ready? W? Oh, no, I died. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Still an easy gank for my jungle. You can push this wave now. Get the farm! Get the farm! Don't fucking leave. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. He just has a massive item advantage on me. Not much to do. Ignite OP. She has a massive go lead on me at this point. Just gotta wait it out. Scale on up. Scaling on up. That was much better. Force the wave all the way out so I'm like incentivized to do some dumb shit or fight. Or you have time and space to walk up and do what you did. You know, walk up and try and hit an E and Q on me as I'm trying to like dodge and bait you to use a Q into the minions, right? I want him to hit my backline minion. I want him to hit all this stuff plus me. But he can just keep walking. I mean, auto, right? So I have to keep running away. Then I'm isolated, so now we can hit a Q. Now he's got all this space to work with, right? All this space before I get back to a tower. Q, E, ult, that type of shit. Way better than me just hiding under the tower and pressing abilities, right? Much better. Much harder for me to deal with, too. Scaling on up. Scaling on up. Oh, he's down there. What? Cool. Stack city time. Uh, he's ganking bot lane. They gotta be a little careful. I think he's just trying to set up the dragon. Nope, crab. Oh, we're gonna go for tower. They don't have a way down there, by the way. Uh, I think I can get the tower like no matter what, so I should probably prioritize getting stacks still. You got one. We'll take it. I mean, I'm gonna catch up a lot here. You just picked up a shutdown, but... 
it's okay. Rotate our autos. Get our cues. We can go slow on this wave. Make sure we're getting our stuff. Level 2 ultimate. Large. Beat. That was uh, quite good for us. Quite good for us indeed. Obviously he got some gold doing other stuff on the map, but that's fine. There's actually still a dragon up that they, so they didn't even get it. Pretty huge. Hmm. This guy kept walking forward. Walk right in, press the W. This guy hits E. EG. Oh, that bot lane play looks kind of good, huh? Looks kind of good, huh? I don't want to do that yet. I'm just going to sit on the sheen. I am just going to sit on the sheen. I'll build it into something else later. I just... It's underwhelming at this point. I feel like this guy has enough... If I do something dumb, he has plenty of damage and he's not bad or anything at the game. He's going to bully me if I do something too ridiculous. Let's wait on the Lich Bane a little bit. Delay it a bit. I'll get it. I think it'll be quite good still. I thought AP is going to funnel into our other abilities. He doesn't have uh Chimana doesn't have ultimate. It's be a little underwhelming. When I get a little closer, I can press Ghost. And the Vigar is doing really well right there. <laughs> I love it. I don't know why I didn't just ult immediately. I was like holding the cooldown. Just use it. That was so dumb. Alright, we can get work done here. Yeah, the Vigar is doing really well. Get this tower nice and low. Kill it relatively soon. I don't know if we're going to do it on this push. I'm a little nervous. Let's do it! XQ. Sweet. Might. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I might path right into the bot lane here. It's all good. I just grabbed this too. Oh, I have uh, Sunfire, huh? It's gonna kill all the smalls, unfortunately. Ah, uh, dang. All good, all good. Auto Q. I'm gonna reset on this. I might just go for the sheen now. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Maybe it's a bad idea. Uh, gotta cover one or the other. I guess I'm gonna go top. Oh nice, I got Yumiar. This guy's still strong. He's only up like 15 CS. That's why the CS stuff doesn't really matter too much. It's more about like, don't die. Be in range for the EXP, and then get as much as you can. The whole thing is just to make sure that gap doesn't explode, right? You go from a 10 CS lead to a 20 CS lead, and like every, you know, two minutes, the CS lead gains by five. Like if that's the situation you're in, then that's a, that's trouble. That's the situation that they could actually create, again, if he bounced the wave and then denied me. But the fact that he's AFK shoving, it's like, I'm, all right, I'm going to miss like, you know. A wave of six crashes into my tower and I'm gonna get you know three or four of them every time you know you're gonna harass me and try and deny me you're gonna do some damage I'm gonna heal up with my health you know or with my lifesteal you know my potions whatever I'm gonna be relatively safe I'm the dying unless I get like dope or something or get poked too badly but there's no finishing move there like at best case you force me out of tower and I have or force me uh, back to base you know, off a tower and I lose like, you know, 10 more CS or 5 more CS or whatever. But then lane phase ends and it's like a 20 CS gap that at 2, or at like 150 CS when you have 170, like who cares? Like yeah, it matters when it's 40 to 20. Like it's more meaningful. It's a, a larger percentage. You have half of my, uh, or you have double my CS. I have half of your CS, you know, that it's impactful. <laughs> now it's like, all right, you have 15 more than me. <laughs> like I don't care. 
That's a tenth of the total CS. It doesn't even buy you like anything, you know? Try and snipe this out. Ooh, they're getting pretty aggressive. We only have two people there. Soraka's on her way. Uh oh. I'm coming here too. Yeah. Pretty aggressive play. So slow in the fucking head, man. All right, I'm gonna leave. Back it up. Nice thing is every item we complete get a hundred extra health plus size increase on this. That's the uh, the benefit. Hundred extra health, six percent size increase. That plus our ultimate should be pretty giant. Pretty damn giant. I'm down with this next though. This and like Frozen Heart seems like the move. 5% of the target's maximum health each each second, but it ticks at a uh, half second increments now, which is actually quite good. Man, I don't really know why I'm maxing E when they're building like no resistances. I didn't really need the range damage. Probably should just max W here. Would have been more beneficial to the squad. Yoink this, no? About this. I eat like this so that nobody can see it if they're over here or over here. I'll start running away. Cool. Grab some of this farm. Probably should just be in a side lane. Getting them stacks. Yeah, I'm ready to I'll run away. Oh no, they sent two bot. I agreed with this ping. Could be topside. Not necessarily doing Baron, but like, you know, setting up the area. I don't know if I 100 to 0 this guy. I'm not sure if I. More just very powerful, especially if I use my ultimate. My ultimate's gonna give me a bunch of armor, magic, resistance, and HP, and then more's gonna seal 10% of my stats, you know? So it's not even the. He's gonna ult one of us, yeah. And I need to just stand up here with him. Beat. We don't actually have to fight this guy. We just gotta be able to help over here. There we go. Oh, you're dead. I withered that guy. <laughs> it's so useless. Oh man. Up here, up here. We have killed like their whole team, bro. They can not be alive. No one cares about that ward, brother. Or this is a time-sensitive mission. Come on. When you kill people, you get a death timer. It's like it's a limited amount. We don't really need jungle here, by the way, because this guy does like I don't know, eight, nine hundred damage on his hits. But they also don't have a jungle alive, so we're not really. Q W. Oh, we could yoink this. Noise, noise. Good little Baron. Good little Baron action. Love it, love it, love it. Let's get out. Get a little bit more CDR. We can grab double components here, actually. We can go like this, and then this. That way I have a little bit of armor as well. Good pink ward. No, man. Good work, boys. Good work. The squad is playing well. 405 stacks at 26 minutes. I mean, honestly, not terrible, considering, you know? Considering I've not really been focused that much on stacking. I've been under pressure a little bit, you know? Definitely don't have the best CS in the world. But not bad, though. You can get, like, 400 or 500 at 20 minutes if you get, like, a lane, like, 
I don't know what's, what a great example is off the top of my head, like Singe or something. Somebody that after a certain point, like, you know, a few levels in lane, they just cannot do anything against you. And you can just stand there and last hit. A lot of some of the range poke champions are actually like this. Uh, I wish they weren't fighting with two people. Trying to get over there. The Vigar's not there. He, he does have teleport though. We just TP to mid lane. Oh, he actually has a flank on them. That's actually a really nice position. Oh, but he didn't hit an E and he just walked into them. Oh no. I got a wither on him. RQ. Q. Follow the rest. Let's go for the tower. I still have a Q loaded up. I just wither him. Oh goodness. Ooh. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, you guys are staying way far up. See the stand-in range of this guy. <laughs> I think I came off the wall a little bit too much. You can tell because this guy started pathing this way. Which means she tried to press W on me and I stepped out of range. So I tried to path her around to bring her back in range. So I should have hugged the wall more. She could have got a heal off me. I think I would have lived. I was trying to get that last Q bop. Oof. We lost our soul there too. Lost our soul. Mm. Take it, we'll take it. Almost. Ooh, almost 500. That, our Q's uh, doing quite a bit. 500, 600, 700-ish damage right now, while being pretty damn tanky. I'm trying to do a camp real fast back, if I can buy my item. Be quite good. Please. We do this or bot lane. Either or fun. This and bot lane. Auto Q. Let's run it this way. Ooh. I mean, I, oh, he, that's so good. I was going to say, I got the wither off on him, so it might be okay. But yeah, he has cleanse, so it's super okay. I really wish I sold this now and bought a component. I didn't want to sell it because I was literally going to do one camp and then back and then buy my item. But, you know. So I wanted to still have a pink ward. Could have sold it. Mistakes were made. Oh, speaking of mistakes. No, oh, don't leave me. You can get stacks off of these two. Alright, I want to leave though. Careful, brother. Zooming. This would be pretty useful against this guy, huh? Hmm? That would be nice against all of them. That's what I was thinking, bro. <laughs> I'd be afraid, man. You're so extended. He's just such a slow champion, Vigar is. You really have to just keep distance away from people. So if you get set up too far forward like this, with a champion that can jump behind a wall and flank you. It'd be pretty difficult. Yo, we can get this for you though. With him? I actually don't think he has ult up right now. Yeah. Yeah, the cooldown's too long. Oh, I have the wither on that guy. Got him with the flash Q. Yeah, I have wither on this guy. Oh. That's not worth chasing. Let's just let that thing fall off. Oh goodness. You? Oh, he went back in.
I mean, he's withered. That's a kill. Kaplop! Kaplop! Take those, baby. 525 stacks, not bad, not bad at all. Get the can! 540, baby. Not too bad. Mm, I'm gonna hit the structure. <laughs> Play Mord? Yeah, he's really solid. Like, if you want just a solid top laner, Mord's the way to go. I agree. Because, like, what this guy did, you can, like, beat somebody up early game. But that champion also scales insanely well. Like, he's my go-to champion because I can int in lane. You know, preferably not. But, like, you can do what I did now. Like, lose by 30 CS or whatever. You know, try not to die. Maybe you die once or whatever. Maybe twice. Worst case scenario, you got jungle pressure against you. Like, you died two times and lost by 30 CS. That's not terrible. Like, that's actually okay. Try not to do that. But, like, if that's the worst case scenario, that's still playable. You know, down 30 CS and a couple of uh, kills, still playable. If jungler gave you attention. Now, if he died solo two times, I mean, come on, man. You know, try not to do that, but yeah. Just being down a little bit of farm is not bad. People get it too much in their head that they have to win lane. I know I do it too, because I want the videos to be entertaining in the first 10 minutes of the game. So like, I want to try and win lane on everybody, even if the champion doesn't really dictate a lane win. Like you probably aren't going to win Nasus versus, versus uh, Mord. In the early game. Maybe after you get uh, Sheen level 6, there's a play potentially. But this guy has Ignite. You know, he's able to kind of turn those around on me. I got to wait a little bit, scale out, and be uh, solid. But again, more the same thing. Like, you can lose the early lane by 30 CS and a kill or two. And then in the mid to late game, you still become a monster because your scaling is so solid. And uh, yeah, he just so disruptive in a team fight. Such a powerful frontliner. Can isolate one person, pick them off, kill them. Force out stuff like uh, cleanse from people. Yeah, anyways, GG Uplate. Hope you enjoyed the buffed Nasus. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, like the video, subscribe for more. If you're watching a live stream, follow the live stream. GG Uplate. Thanks for watching. Peace.